Hi, my name is Blash and I'm a product manager in Vitril. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly test a class 1 appliance, which is in our case a portable LED spotlight using the MI3360M Omega Pat XA, an appliance tester from Vitril. So if you want to uh, fully examine and test our uh, appliance, we first have to determine uh, what is uh, the appliance's classification. We see that the appliance has a Shuko plug and uh, that the plug has also the earth pin um, terminal. So this tells us that uh, the appliance itself is actually a class 1 appliance and uh, due to this fact we will have to perform a thorough visual inspection uh, earth continuity test and also the live leakage test. Live leakage test in this case is important because uh, it will show us whether the appliance is operating correctly or not. So before we actually start with the real electrical examination, we first uh, make this uh, thorough visual inspection to check that the mains cable is in good condition mains plug is good condition and also that the spotlight itself doesn't show any signs of damage. We can now uh, connect this uh, Shuko plug into our mains test socket and attach this uh, earth continuity lead to the metal part of the appliance itself. Um, with this uh, earth continuity lead we will of course check that um, the earthing of the device itself is in proper condition. We now enter the auto sequence menu and inside the main folder we search for appropriate test sequence which uh, in our case has to be a test sequence for class 1 appliance and including uh, earth continuity test and live leakage test. So we have selected the auto sequence uh, with the view option we check that parameters of the sequence are correct, so we see that we have the earth continuity test and the differential leakage test. We will adjust the parameters of uh, differential leakage test uh, to the shortest possible because this is an LED lamp. Uh, the limits are set accordingly. Uh, we will also perform this um, uh, leakage test in both directions. Uh, with the reverse polarity because uh, the appliance has a Shuko plug and has to be checked in, in uh, both directions. Um, after these adjustments are made, we simply start the test and proceed with the actual testing. We see that the first uh, in the line is the vision inspection, which we have already made. We simply confirm the results and proceed with uh, earth continuity test. So the lid is attached, we see that results uh, are good and proceed with the live leakage test. We now also see that the appliance is functioning properly. Uh, we are waiting for reverse polarity test and then we are finished. So just a few seconds. Uh, we can also confirm now that the device itself is operating properly and simply end the test sequence. Uh, everything that we have to do now is just uh, save the results inside our memory structure. So to do this we simply press on the save option and uh, we can now create appropriate structure. So we will choose structure element which is in our case an appliance uh, we can uh, enter this appliance name and ID number. Uh, for the entering of the appliance's ID number, we will use this uh, uh, scanner. So we turn it on. We have the label inside, uh, below uh, and we simply scan it. So now the uh, ID number of the device is automatically entered inside the, under the parameters and we click on the create and save. So now our test results are uh, stored in the memory. Uh, we can use them for printing of uh, labels or professional uh, reports by use of uh, Mason PC software. 
Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time.